Hello friends, this is a 32 inch Mr. Light Android LED TV. Here the complaint is no display. The backlight is okay. There is no picture. This is the complaint. Blank screen. This is the complaint of this TV. It's an Android motherboard. It's a 32 inch sharp panel. Here you can see the initial panel input VCC 12 volt is okay. But the 3.3 ABDD VGH VGL voltages are missing from the panel scalar board. It's a 32 inch sharp panel. Here you can see instead of the input panel VCC 12 volt, rest all other voltages are missing from the panel. VGH VGL ABDD VCOM voltages are missing. There is no 3.3 voltage also. Here you can see the result in the meter. See, now you can see the picture. Here you can see the backlight while tapping on the screen. You can see the backlight on the screen. The backlight is okay. But there is no picture. This is the complaint. Here all the basic panel voltages are missing. So this is causing the issue. So now we put the meter in buzzer mode. Now let's check the capacitors, SMD capacitors are short or not. Here you can see these capacitors, the capacitor in the in this. This capacitor is showing shorting to the ground in both sides. Here you can see it shows continuity. In VH2 5 named capacitor, you can see it shows shorting to the ground in both sides. So maybe this is causing the issue. Here you can see in this capacitor it shows shorting to the ground from both sides. Here you can hear the buzzer sound from the meter. See it shows continuity to the ground. So now we removed the left side FFC cable to the left side scalar board. Now let's check the right side whether the shorting is still there or not after removing the left side FFC cable to the left scalar board after disconnecting it you can see now there is no shorting now the shorting is removed so the problem is with the left side scalar PCB Now let's check the voltages after removing the left side scalar PCB. Now the TV is turned on. Now let's measure the panel voltages after removing the last uh, strip from the left side scalar PCB. We disconnect the FFC cable in the left side. Now in right side scalar PCB the shorting is removed. Now let's check the basic panel voltages. Here you can see 3.3 voltage is okay. You can see the 3.3 voltage in the meter. Now let's check the other voltages. Here you can see the VG voltage is also present. So most probably the problem is with the left side scalar PCB. Now all basic panel voltages are present after removing the left side FFC cable while checking the left side scalar PCB I found that one of the SMD capacitor near to the FFC cable socket is shorting to the ground you can see this capacitor shows shorting to the ground you can see the you can hear the sound here in left side scalar PCB one of the SMD capacitors is short 
so that this is causing the complaint and the other capacitors are okay while checking i found only one capacitor shows shorting to the ground in both sides we can hear the buzzer sound so let's remove it using a soldering iron so let's remove this capacitor i will show you in detail you can see this capacitor named as c103 shows shorting to the ground from the both sides this means that this capacitor is fault faulty capacitor and the rest of the other two capacitors are okay while checking there is no shorting in the other two capacitors i found shorting in the first capacitor near to the left side of fcc socket cable only this capacitor shows shorting so using a soldering iron let's remove the shorter capacitor from the circuit board now using this soldering iron i am going to remove this shorter capacitor from this panel scalar pcb see now the capacitor is removed now let's completely take it off from the circuit board see now i removed the capacitor from the panel scalar pcb you can see it in my hand now the shorting is removed now there is no shorting in the left side scalar pcb now let's connect the ffc cable back to the sockets now we connected the ffc cable back to the socket now we connected the ffc cable back to the left side ffc cable we we connected to the socket now let's turn on the tv and measure the voltages before that let's confirm that the shorting is completely removed while connecting the left side ffc cable back to the scalar pcb here you can see now there is no shorting now there is no shorting at all so now let's turn on the tv and check the picture now the tv is powered on let let release the tv from the standby let us release the tv from the standby now the tv is released from the standby here you can see the backlight now let's check the picture is okay or not see now the picture mr light logo comes and you can see the tv is working fine the display is completely okay picture is perfect we successfully rectified the complaint so the complaint successfully solved it's a 32 inch mr light android led tv the motherboard is mx338 pb.802 you can see the display is perfectly all okay and the tv is working fine so hope you like this video thanks for watching see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon thanks for watching